Hello, it's Arma Bricks, and I'm sharing the latest update of the Arma Bricks City, and it is huge because all the raised platforms that I built previously are now in the city, as and you you can see right now, the city level has been raised up, and we do have connection between this road right here and directly to the road that we will see uh, just uh, uh, there at the end where we have McAllister's uh, house and the other alternatives. We will get there soon. So what we have here is that we manage to place quite a lot of buildings on the race platforms. And we do have one open spot right here. Unfortunately, it is still dark, but I'm planning to add a lightning to it so we could see how it is actually going on here. As you can see, you can see the end of the road and it's pretty amazing. So when uh, uh, lights will be added, I think it will be looking really great. So this is just for, for me to see how it goes under this tunnel. Also, what I will be doing in the future, will add some stairs, fencing right here and other accessories as well. So as you can see, maybe this angle is not the best, but uh, let's try to look uh, at uh, a bit uh, differently soon but yeah this is the main change that happened right here and i'm i'm so happy with the end result that i decided to even raise these buildings at the back what you can see so uh, almost seven um, base plates that will need to be raised with the same approach with the raised platform so it will pop up definitely so let me know what you know uh, think in the comments below Sh should i go further with this one or it's more than enough to have just this section and this section with the raised platform anyhow let's go from the different angle let's see how it looks up there so as we can see this crowded uh, street where we have diagonal uh, early buildings and other alternative builds will be connected to the one that we've been in so on the race platform we do have all those buildings so they are finally pop up they are not in the back and they're not sitting just to, to occupy the space so now they are really visible so i'm really happy with that and the only downside that I see uh, is the McAllister's Home Alone house, which unfortunately by once that does not fit, so it had to be uh, moved in front a bit. But let's see, maybe in the future I will figure out what to do with that. Also, uh, this place will need some accessories like stairs, uh, fencing and etc so definitely this project is not over because as you can see the minifigures can easily fall off so let's not hope that anyone will get injured so yeah these are the changes that i did so far and i'm planning uh, to do much more when i build those extra uh, race platforms so what I need to do is I've already have pre-built uh, extra floors for for Grand Emporium, for Brick Bank, for for Corner Garage. So I will be uh, putting those together with those new raised platforms. But uh, yeah, this will take some time. So hoping that in upcoming week or so I will be able to do that. But yeah. At least I'm happy that there is enough work in the city that I'm doing and the city evolves, not uh, not everything is stopped, although we are limited in space. So yeah, there are still a few base plates to occupy. 
So yeah, fingers crossed that we will have enough work for upcoming at least half a year. So thank you for watching. Stay tuned. More changes will be coming up next. And let me know in comments what do you think about raising these buildings at the back and doing the same for the buildings that we see there at the back of that wall where we have old modular buildings. So thank you for watching and uh, have a great day guys. Goodbye.